Hi, it's Warren Hewitt. Hope you're doing marvelously well. As ever, please subscribe. Go to producelikeapro.com and you can sign up for the email list, get a whole bunch of free stuff. And of course, there's the 14 day free trial of the Academy where every month we give away a free session. And this session was recorded with some of the best musicians in the world. It's either recorded at my studio, Sunset Sound, United, you name it. We've recorded at all different places. Some are done on tape, some are done uh, straight into DAW, some are done with clasp. So all kinds of fun stuff and you can mix them. Anyway, and the forum's amazing. But cutting to the chase. Now, if you remember, I went to Summer Nam and I did two videos from Summer Nam, which this year was in Nashville and was so much fun. We walked around and if we found something that we thought, thought was exciting or innovative, we stopped. And one of those companies was PRA. And what I loved about this is they were making wireless systems for around about $300. We just went to their website and this lists at $350 and they're selling it at the moment from their website for $250. Why would we be interested in this? Well, we'd be interested in this because it's a wireless guitar system that you can use with your computer. It has a USB receiver here, and it has a quarter inch jack here for the guitar. So we're gonna plug it in and try it out. We're also going to give it away. We're gonna do our usual raffle, and you can enter to win this. So it's very exciting. Um, you know, $250 on sale at the moment. I love the idea of this because it's less cables. I've got my MacBook Air, I've got my Pro Tools dongle here, the iLock, I'm running Pro Tools 10, old one on this. We're just going to plug it in, open up a virtual guitar amp, and just see if there's any perceptible delay, and just try it out. So great idea, really good for those of you that are traveling, only have a laptop and a guitar, you don't want to carry around tons of cables, and I don't know, it's just a really good innovative product. And they also, of course, do a version that we demonstrated at NAMM, which has a receiver with a quarter inch on it, which plugs into an amp. And I can't remember the range, but it's pretty ridiculous. So um, great product at a great price. When I was a kid, these things were so expensive, so unbelievably expensive, and they weren't very good. Um, so let's try it out. Let's open it up. Okay, so here's the uh, instructions. Um, you know, it looks ridiculously simple. Plug WIC USB stick into available USB port. Navigate to sounds input and look for WIC product. Select the WIC product so it's available to install software such as GarageBand, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll try it out. Oh, look, it's got a little pack, a little leather pack for our receiver. So you could just plug it in like I've got my um, uh, wireless transmitter here for my lapel mic. I could do the same thing for the guitar. I'm not going to put it in there, but there it is. So there's the transmitter for the guitar. Here is the receiving part, which is a small USB stick, a little bit bigger than your average iLock. Very small dongle. And, ah, better still, here's the USB charger because it's a rechargeable battery. They've supplied different countries' adapters. So it comes with an American-style plug, but then the adapter for multiple countries, which is really nice. So as you know, all of our stuff is worldwide. All the competitions and raffles and stuff we do, most of them are going all over the world. We've had a couple of America, but we've had Canada, Australia. Um, I don't think we've had any in England yet. We've had Germany, Italy, you name it. Um, I think we had um, Africa. Yeah, we just had South Africa. And we've also had the Middle East and we've also had uh, the Philippines, you name it. It's gone all over the world. So this is fantastic that we're able to do a, a raffle giveaway and that the company is already ahead. Good on them for supplying that. And of course, probably most importantly, a short cable. I was just thinking, I don't know if I had any short cables to do this. So a short cable from my guitar to my transmitter. So let's try it out. So here we have my trusty $200 eBay purchase. Here's the transmitter. Let's turn it on. Just flashed. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here for a second. Gonna take the USB receiver. Let's open up Pro Tools, or as my orange carny surfer dude friends used to call it, Brotels. 
brutals. Okay, so we're gonna do 24 bit 16, sorry, 24 bit 48K. Okay, we're gonna go to hardware. Bada bum, bada bing, launch setup app. It sees it. Here you can turn it on or off. WIC 1G USB mono receiver. Click yes. Separate 48K. Okay, good. So that's set up. We'll quit looking here. Yes, there it is. Okay. Save and close session. Now we're going to go to the I.O. Delete. Default. Input path. Okay, so we've uh, one input mono, output, let's create a new input. Yeah. Voila! Let's call it guitar. All right, I'm going to let's open up a leaden free. Okay, so. Super high out. So I'm going to just record something here a second. So pretty much without any, just the way it came up, there's not a lot of latency. The output's pretty hot. There's like a transient, eh. Nothing particularly major here when I played some super hot chords. It looked like a... Okay, so the only thing is, is there's no adjustment of output volume. Um, so it's kind of cool. Plug my guitar straight in. It's totally wireless. Um, I could put on a little pack here and walk around the room. <laughs> Uh, it's going to record. There's no real perceptible latency. Um, we could check out here and see whether uh, um, there's any adjustment for that. At the moment it's coming up. Hardware buffer size, if I go down to the shortest one. With the faster lines. Bypass this a second. Let's go to something a little, a little sweeter. Not quite so metal. Um, 
Not there's anything wrong with that. Our old friend Sansamp. And then what it is about Sansamp, it just sounds good. I know it's been around forever, but... So, bearing in mind that this is not an HD system, this is just my little MacBook Air. It's Pro Tools 10. It's, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the latency is pretty minute when you set it down to a lower setting. I mean, I can play with that. I mean, that's... That's totally excusable. So a good little nifty device. And what's great about it is we're giving it away for free. We will pack it up, put it back in the box, and you can enter the raffle to win it. So thank you ever so much PRA for doing this. I appreciate it. Great little device for when you're on the road, when you're in a hotel room, or whether you just don't want to deal with a whole bunch of cables. Because you know, you could put this at the end of your pedals as well. You know, the only thing I will say, there's no specific volume control on it. So, it's right on the verge um, on this neck pickup here. It's fine, but my bridge has got quite high output. And on that cord, it's slightly clipping. So it means that I'm going to, if you're using active pickups or something like that, you might have to be aware. Um, maybe there's a gain um, reduction inside of it. Um, we'd have to go on the website and double check out. That's the only kind of downside I can see is not a specific volume control on the unit itself. So please enter the raffle. Um, the link is below and you can win this lovely device. It's listing at 350 and at the moment on their website, we checked it out earlier, they're doing it for 250. So thank you PRA for giving this to us and for us to be able to give it to you. So as ever, please leave a bunch of questions and comments below and have a marvelous time recording and mixing.